Young drivers are workers under the age of 25 years. Novice drivers tend to be those who have little experience in the last two years driving, particularly those with less than a thousand miles on any particular vehicle type. It tends to be people who have passed their test or are returning to driving after many years away. And why they're at risk is that 25% of all crashes involve young drivers, yet they only make up a small percentage of road users, approximately 8%. The main reason they're at risk is because they often overestimate their driving capabilities even though they've passed their test and they often fail to realise the dangers that they're getting themselves into and once they've gotten into that situation they don't have the skills to get themselves out of it safely. Young drivers don't usually pass comment on their experience unless they've had a negative experience. They're usually very, very confident and all young drivers, their learning starts when their driving instructor gets out the car and the real learning and experience happens when they're driving independently. Young drivers have told us that they're often given vehicles that they're not familiar with, sometimes towing trailers, and are then sent to sites and locations that they're unsure of and put in situations perhaps reversing that they haven't come across before. Essentially, young drivers who drive with their peer group in the car are four times more likely to have an accident. We know that young drivers on rural roads are a particularly deadly combination and we also know that driving at night is a risk point for a young driver. They can get distracted and they're easily distracted but they're coming up with new situations all the time that they haven't got experience from and if they've got a distraction whether it's a passenger or a mobile phone it can quite easily distract them. They take risks when they don't have the driver experience to actually deal with the road conditions and the speed that they're potentially going at. Other issues around rural roads, unfamiliar environments and perhaps deliveries reversing in unusual vehicles all create risks for novice and young drivers. Well, what a company can do about the risk is initially assess their drivers, particularly young drivers, see what their capabilities are, see if they require additional training which they should offer them and ensure that they're driving a vehicle that they are safe and capable of driving and are properly licensed to drive. It's important that the employer um, selects the appropriate driver for the appropriate vehicle, that we um, understand uh, if the young driver, for example, has had what we might term a near miss, so something almost happened to them, and feeds that back to the organisation so they can learn from their safety failures. What companies can do about the risk is ensure that they've got good driver training and good policies in place to ensure that young drivers are supported particularly if they're put in different vehicles, they're maybe sent out in vans or different routes that they've never been on before. Because driving might not be their full job, it might be just part of their job. So they really have to have information that's going to help them to build up a responsibility towards driving. They can actually uh, have CPD training for their drivers and driver assessments and produce a handbook that will give the information that the young driver will have to know to actually carry out his duties as a driver. The first thing drivers should realise is that by having a driving licence you have a responsibility to make sure you drive safely. This responsibility increases when you're driving a company vehicle where you need to comply with company policy and also consider the reputation of the company and the safety of other road users. Drivers should be very aware that they are in a specific risk group and modify their driving styles, especially at night, if carrying passengers or on rural or unfamiliar road environments. A driver can actually adhere to the rules of the road uh, by wearing their seat belt, by sticking to the speed limits and adopting a positive mental attitude towards road safety. What drivers can do to reduce the risk is ensure that their vehicle is in a good uh, state of maintenance and obviously do daily checks on this. This can involve tyres, lights uh, and also the state of the vehicle, particularly in the winter, windscreens are clear and that they do know the route and they plan the route. So if they are a driver going on a new route, they might ask colleagues what are particular problems, where can I get parked, are there any 
difficulties in getting to that location. So they can make sure that they've got all the facts and all the information. And also, if their boss is asking them to do something that they haven't done before, that they maybe question them and say, do I need more time? Young drivers in particular have to gain the confidence to enter into a dialogue with their employer uh, around and about the driving process. They should be looking after the vehicle as they're responsible for the vehicle, but they should also be looking after their selves. Are they fatigued? Have they taken drugs? And when I say drugs, I just don't mean illegal drugs. I mean cold and flu remedies, antidepressants, antihistamines. Are they feeling stressed? These are all things that basically can have an adverse consequence to your concentration.